Say that again. Why? Just say it again. So I was wearing my Adventure Archive shirt and Tina says, you're wearing your merch. I was like, oh my God, what year are we in? <laughs> If you touch this camera ever again, I'm gonna smack you. <laughs> These are all study guides. And these are practice tests. This looks like it's math. No! <laughs> Try that guy right there. Or one of those guys. Oh, that was a bad miss. You can control that yeah. when you try to grab it. Go, just yeah. Go. And then you press the button once you're ready to grab. Press which button? The, the button. Go, 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 go. How to go down? Press that button. Just go. Just press. Shh. I'm not so loud. What happened? Welcome back to the vlog. I'm back in Pujian, China. Unfortunately, I got sick and I am not one to power through sickness. In fact, quite the opposite. It is the end of the world whenever I get sick and I don't want to be bothered or do anything. In fact, being sick in a hotel is quite literally my least favorite thing that I've ever experienced in my entire life. And I've had that experience many times. I was hoping to never have it again. On the plus side, I'm back in this very nice hotel. <sighs> got this double bed. Don't have to share it with Andrew. Nice bathroom, toilet, shower, bathtub. Looks brand new. Don't really have much use for it, but it's there. But anyways, also on the plus side, we're not leaving until the day after tomorrow. We're going to Shanghai today, which means we'll have the rest of the night and an entire day in Shanghai to go walk around and do stuff. I felt like absolute death before, but I'm feeling much, much better now, which is great. So we'll be able to end the trip on a positive note. Kind of a crappy middle there, but what can you do? All the people who work here know me now from the last time we were here and filmed videos. They saw them. <laughs> we're still waiting to be picked up and still waiting for my dad and them to get packed up. Let's go find out what that dance thing that's going on down there is. Not that I'll be able to figure out what it is, but let's at least go take a look at it. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that they were practicing earlier and they stopped for now. Okay, well instead of waiting, let's go wander around. Take a look at some of the back streets and back alleys. You know, I had totally forgot we had done this, but this is where we watched a movie last time. It was like about a tunnel and like an explosion bomb squad or something. I don't remember. Lots of disaster, superhero looking movies.
Wow, I think this is the most tranquility that I have experienced since coming to China. Look, there's only a couple of people around. Nice breeze blowing. I think you might have to grow up in this environment to really truly be able to handle it or a similar type of environment. The neighborhood where I grew up in, the neighborhood I currently live in, it's just like, it could not be any more different from this part of the world. Just the energy level alone is night and day. But the people who live here, they can be standing with three different sets of speakers all playing different music and just complete chaos going on and just be perfectly content and happy sitting right in it. And I, my brain is just like melting meanwhile. Once again, we find ourselves at a Chinese rest stop. We are on our way to Shanghai. I haven't eaten yet, so I'm actually starving right now. I had them pick something for me. I don't know what it is. I don't care either. I'll eat anything at this point. One thing that you would only see in China is a sign pointing you to boiling water. I don't know if anywhere else in the world has something like that. Nowhere I've been to anyway. There's just not a culture of having hot water. And of course, ice cream. Did you get coffee? No, I got chocolate. What I didn't realize was that this is 33 kwai, <laughs> which is like $4.50 for this. <laughs> I would have just gotten like an ice cream bar or something had I known. Okay, we're 27 minutes out now. Yeah. The smog today is terrible. Like this, I haven't seen this in a long time. Are we gonna stay at the airport hotel? Uh, yes, we are. It's been a lot clearer the last times we've been here and the last week that we were here, but today it's just straight up Turok dinosaur hunter. It was a way longer drive than I thought. That was like a solid four hours. Didn't sleep, very bored. Okay, let's check it out. Bathroom, looking good. Oh, nice shower, all right. Definitely gotta check the bathroom every time. Nice lighting, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Enough room for a luggage cart and two full-sized people. Window. Okay, before they leave, we're gonna get something to eat. Undecided where, but she definitely wants McDonald's. Okay, we're gonna eat at the same place we ate last time. Spicy walk. <laughs> It's like a million degrees in here, but fries, pretty much indistinguishable, but they could stand to be a little hotter. Fries are mostly just how hot and fresh they are. So these crazy mofos got the hot and the not hot so that she could eat, even though all she was eating is a hamburger. So we've got a lot of food. Okay, it is time to say goodbye to the two musketeers. The other musketeers have already left. It's been a good trip with them. I will see them 
next time. Yeah. Jen. Bye, Jen. Dude, stop screaming. Go say goodbye to them. <laughs> <laughs>